Hey everyone, this is Benjamin here from the African Geek and Joe. Welcome to the sweet and exclusive uh, video. Okay, so before I get started, let me just roll the intro. Okay, so here I am in Canva and I made this post, you know, some days ago. I, mean, I don't know when I'm going to post this particular video but just in case you are not watching it I made this post some time ago so um, after I made it I, I got a lot of people saying you know they are interested in learning how to um, do this so I decided to come up with this um, video tutorial just to explain how I did that okay and kind of, it's very easy so I wouldn't be doing things from scratch I'll just take you through the process how I was able to achieve this so let me just duplicate this page first okay and the first thing I'm going to do is not even the first thing let me just take off all of these things uh you know my branded stuff okay because i don't think i need it okay so this is what i did we can see um it looks like the shape is kind of like maxing through the guys sort of something interesting like that okay so i'll just you saw it very easy and very simple so let me um just do this okay delete 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 okay so the first thing i did was i added the photo so uh, here is the photo i come to my info you can see so this is the full photo i just added it in canva okay and that's how i was looking then all i did was i added my text so i just said ship me with canva okay just shipping because what i wanted to post actually um, had to do with shapes and stuff like that you get it so i just said shape me with canva and once i did that I, you know this was looking boring so i was just thinking to myself how can i make this more interesting and the way i could do that was i just duplicated this photo so what i could do or what i did was i just first of all detached the photo okay and just duplicated the photo and i set you know back to you know i i made the original one the background so this is what i have now and what can i do with that all i did was i removed the background okay and if you are not on Canva pro like myself there are some websites you can use you can use remove the video which are less recommend i wouldn't recommend remove.bg just that is one of the websites you can use okay the one i recommend is stickermo.com slash trace s-t-i-c-k-e-r-m-u-l-e okay dot com slash trace so and the only thing about this is you have to actually sign in before you can use their uh, um you know their tool so that's the only thing okay so these are the two websites you can use you can choose either of them you know you can choose any of them you want so back to my design and i'll delete this for now and i'll just come here and copy the image with the remove background and i'll just paste it here so you can see i just moved the background and the only thing i had to do which was some sort of work was i had to um, you know increase the size of the image and just make sure it fits you know um it's actually fitting the original one so that we don't actually see it's been removed you know the background has been removed okay so that's all i did so let me just screw up okay let me just fix it a little bit you can see from here you know that it's not on okay so i think this is this is better now okay then after i did that the other thing i did was let me the other thing i did was i copied the text okay so this and this i'll just copy them Control C, okay, and I come here and I just paste them on top. And I'll delete this. Um, oh, what am I doing? Okay, so I just come here and paste. Awesome. So I'll just use this one for now. You can see I just duplicated the text and I came to effect. I came to hollow, and you know this is what I I got. So I just reduce the thickness side because once it's a lot it doesn't really look beautiful i just duplicated it and maybe i'll just do the same for you uh, other one okay so you can see it's the same thing i did for what i have behind okay 
let me just delete it and do it again so that you can see it okay so i duplicated placed it on top effect um below and reduce the thickness to somewhere like um let's go like five okay yeah and just make sure it's you know it fits so this is what we have now and i believe you found this helpful you know this is something easy uh, you can also achieve in canva so that's how i was able to do that and i hope i've answered your question now the name is benjamin and don't forget you can check me out on instagram where you would be filled with so 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 many uh instagram tips so let me just show you my instagram page you know just in case yeah just pardon me okay so instagram.com slash african geeks okay and once you get on my page yeah that's my name and stuff like that and that's the, the, the post okay that's the post i made so that's what i have for you today and you know like this video share comment i'd love to know what you think about it and you know i'd also love to hear from you you can send me a message on instagram and i'll be looking forward to respond to your message okay so the name is benjamin again and always remember there is no limit to creativity i'll see you in my next video